guys, Steve here from Victorian Fishing and Camping Adventures and today we are doing the front brake assembly on our D-Max and showing you the bearings. So put, jacking it up, pulling off the wheels, going to take the caliper off, two big 22mm bolts on the top and the bottom. That is if you want to remove the whole caliper. Obviously you can just slide out half the caliper and just pull the pads out but I'm pulling the whole caliper off for this video today and showing you the whole works of the whole system. So caliper off and Oki strapped up here. The Oki strap seen better days if you have a good look at it. But basically got the caliper off, got my pads out. They weren't too bad, but uh, that's the pads and the caliper out of the way so we can focus on the rest, which is the hard bit. Now, you need to start by undoing the six bolts that are facing you around the centre of the hub. And yes, it must come off on the D-Max. It runs, a, what do you call it, a captive bearing setup or whatever it's called. Same as the Land Cruisers, but not similar on Rangers and other kind of trucks like this. But anyway, getting them in, whack off these six bolts. They are a little bit tight, so you whack your screwdriver in there, jam it up, get the breaker bar on there, make sure you're using the right bit and then whacking the six bolts out. That'll allow you to then remove the cover when you're ready. So pulling this cover off and then underneath you've obviously got the whole setup, which does need to be pulled out with split, split pins. Or sorry, uh, blah, blah, blah. circlip pliers is what I meant. Taking it off with the circlip pliers then you've got a few little shims behind it there that come off as well, or spacers, washers, whatever you want to call them. Once they're off, guys, then just slowly pull the covering off. You're going to need to clean this all up on a good steel wheel or with a wire brush. Clean it all up before you put it back on. Obviously, when you reassemble with some high temp celastic, sealing it all back up. Then... The real tricky thing that took me ages and why I made this video because I couldn't see anyone else putting a video out there. How do you get this bit off? There's three tiny little Phillips head bolts that live between that grease. So finding the little Phillips head bolts there, guys, make sure you use a quality screwdriver so you don't strip them because you kind of get one shot at this. If you get the three of them off nicely, then the retainer should simply just pull out with the, like a little screwdriver like I'm using here. No drummers. So then she's off. Then the next bit I couldn't work out was getting off this nut. So just giving it a kick anti-clockwise and it does spin anti-clockwise and then will come off its thread and obviously release. So pulling out the lock nut, which will then allow you to pull off the rest of the assembly. And then you'll end up with this. So once the rotor is off, guys, obviously down to your drive shaft there. But then the rotor itself is a bit of a pain in the ass. So getting your gun, basically rattling off the other six main bolts there that are holding the, the front of it to your rotor, and then we'll bolt on the new rotor. So bolting on the new rotor to the back end. To remove it, guys, got to pull out the bearing seal so just smashing that out on a couple of bits of wood whilst i also had it all out i cleaned up the whole thing all the bearings and this is the abs sensor which i suggest cleaning as well and then reassembling everything as one big clean unit and then to fit it back on guys obviously the reverse of what we did in the first place so putting everything back in then you've obviously got to do your bearings and everything really really carefully making sure you get everything back in the same order, making sure it's all re-greased, all inspected, and really doing our front hubs and front brakes properly. So slowly reassembling it. If you've got someone to give you a hand, give you a hand, makes it a lot cleaner. But basically, when it's all together, it should look like this. So you can see our new brake pads in there. We're not gonna go into detail with the pads because they're pretty simple. Just wanted to focus on the complicated bit today, which is mainly in that rotor and bearing assembly there. And basically how to fix up your whole front end on the current model, or I think this is a 2017 D-Max on the Victorian fishing and camping adventures. Subscribe.